Hello, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I filmed a YouTube video. I've had my hair cut since then. Feeling myself. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Indian party look. It's been requested from me numerous times and as I'm attending a pre-wedding event tonight, I thought it would be the perfect time to sit down and film it. I'm also going to be showing you how I curl my hair with straighteners. Uh, a lot of people have asked me how I do that, so I'm going to be doing that today as well at the end of this video. Okay, so onto the makeup. Um, I have cleansed and toned my face. For moisturiser, I am going to go in with a couple of moisturisers. The L'Oreal Hydra Genius, can you even see that? L'Oreal Hydra Genius Aloe Water. It's really lightweight. It, it feels like a gel and I literally, I put it everywhere, even under my eyes. Because it feels almost like a serum. And my skin's quite dehydrated so it does sink in very quickly. I do often need maybe four pumps of it. Um, it recommends to use every morning and evening alone or after your serum. Apply one pump to the face and neck. Uh, and it says use as your daily moisturiser. One pump does not cut it for me. I need about four pumps. So next I apply my SPF. Um, I'm not 100% sure which way round SPF and moisturiser should be applied. Maybe it should have been SPF first. Um, but I don't know what the consensus is on that. But anyway, I'm going to put on my SPF on after. Tell me if it's wrong. Um, I'm using this new one from Body Shop called Skin Defense. It's actually a moisturizer, but it's got SPF in it. But it's so lightweight that I can use it in conjunction with the, my, the, this. So next I go in with a primer. My favorite is the Kat Von D Hydrating Primer. Again, quite lightweight, but very hydrating. Um, and if you've got dry or dehydrated skin like me, it's really nice. So I just use one full pump of this and I pop that everywhere. Now do I want to do my base first or my eyes first? I think I'm going to do my base first because um, my eyes, I am going to do a very light smoky eye. Hopefully I won't get any fallout. So what I normally do first is go in with a corrector slash concealer. So I use NARS Creamy Concealer in Biscuit. It comes in a little pop and it's got a slight peachy undertone and I literally just use my finger, dab in there and I will apply in my areas that need correcting under my eyes and then around my nose and all around my mouth area. We have a little friend here that joined me this month, usual time of the month party. Um, right now she's in recovery, she is um, attending rehab and I'm hoping a couple of days it should be all recovered. So this one I am going to spot conceal. I'm going to show you how to spot conceal spots. The key is with acne or fresh spots that you have is not to cake them overly with foundation. You can just spot conceal and they will look so much nicer and will give you the same flawless kind of coverage. So next I'm going to go in with my favourite foundation, the NARS. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. It is probably the closest color match I can get for my skin tone. So one little pump and I will literally dot this foundation on. I really like applying this foundation with fingers. It just sinks into the skin so much nicer and it gives you a lot more of a skin-like finish. Next I go in with concealer. Um, today I'm going to use the Arde Cosmetics Flawless Concealer in number 4. So I concentrate the concealer lower down on my socket area because I have wrinkles and I don't want to um, draw more attention to them underneath my eyes. Now I'm just going to spot conceal this guy here. Just take a small brush and you literally just want to lightly Press on top of the spot and I'm just going to blend in the edge with my finger. So now I'm going to set my face with some powder. I'm only going to set the areas that need setting, the areas that get slightly more dewy. Ah, the sun! Is that really obvious on my face though? Yeah. The sun's following me guys. So for powder, I normally use my Laura Mercier translucent powder but it is finished. So I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix powder in C40. And be careful not to disturb areas that you've spot concealed. Only go over them very lightly. Don't start buffing away the product. 
try next I'm going to bronze up my face I'm gonna use an old favorite which I've just found which is my studio fix powder in NC 45 and in circular very light motions I'm just gonna bronze my face all well, this light situation is uh, not good I'm just gonna move across my room away from this sunlight well, I managed to escape the sun so hopefully this is slightly better I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyebrows and I will come back and we will go through uh, the eyes okay brows are on and um, they're not having a good day today okay leave them alone especially this one this one's normally my friend but today she doesn't want to behave okay so I always go in with some concealer to prime the lids I'm gonna go in with the NARS biscuit creamy concealer on a deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques add a very light layer up to the brow bone I'm going to do a kind of reddish brown smoky eye with some glitter so I'm going to start with the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette and I'm going to use this shade here as a transition colour so taking a fluffy brush I'm going to put this in my crease if you don't press too hard you should find it easier to blend so sticking with the NYX Edit Palette I'm going to go into this colour here it's a kind of a dusky pink using the same brush I just want to add a little bit more dimension just to the outer edge and whatever's left on the brush, I'll bring it into the crease here as well. Next, I'm taking um, the brown shade at the end of the same palette using a clean blending brush this time because I don't really want to muddy the colours. And I'm going to concentrate that just on the outer edge. So I like to kind of pat it in first and then blend. And I really like working with NYX shadows because they don't give you a lot of fallout. Or any fallout, actually. Bringing this into my crease area just to give that a bit more dimension and then whatever's left on the brush I'm going to wing out very slightly. So sticking with this palette I'm going to go into this shimmery shade here. I'm going to use my finger to apply this. It's a really lovely bronzy golden shade and I'm going to pop that in all over the lid concentrating it in the inner corner like so. Oh it's lovely. So as a final step to the lid, I'm going to add some glitter. I'm going to use a very beautiful palette by Linda Halberg. It is the Metallic Mysteries Palette 2 and it looks like this. And I'm going to use this shade here which is called Collision. I mean look at that. It gives such a beautiful wet finish. So I'm going to pop this on the top of where we applied the shimmer. So stunning. And obviously if you don't have this you can just use any glitter that you have. So at this stage you can apply liquid liner if you want. I am just going to add a bit more dimension to my lash line just by adding some black eyeshadow. I'm not going to add liquid liner or gel liner. I'm taking the smoky palette. I'm going to use the black in here on a angled kind of flat brush and I am going to stamp that on my lash line. I'm very slightly going to wing it out. So now I've done that, I actually want to deepen out the outer corner. I'm going to take the colour Smolder from the Ardea palette, carefully dot it in the outer corner. Then you can use the original brush that you use in your crease just to blend it all in. So now I'm just going to pop on some mascara. For lashes, I'm going to apply some Ardell Wispies. I actually have a double stacked pair, literally just two pairs of Wispies on top of each other, which I'm going to use today. So while I wait for the lash glue to dry, I'm going to do my highlighter. I'm going to use this duo highlighter from NYX. It's the, from the Machinist collection. It's called Grind. And I'm going to use this yellowy gold shade here on a fluffy brush. Stick it on the high points. This is a nice highlighter if you want a subtle glow. So to finish this look off, I'm actually going to apply brown eyeliner, not black eyeliner, in my waterline. Even though we are going for a smoky eye, I kind of still want a, a bit of lightness in the eye. So I'm going to go in with a brown eyeliner, I'm using one from Linda Halberg, it's just the brown core liner. Once you've got that on, you just want to blend it out and I'm just using a tapered pointed brush. Lastly, I'm just adding some mascara to my bottom lashes. So that's the eyes done. A nice little smoky, glittery 
smoky eye. Uh, lastly for lips I'm going to go in with the NYX Suede Matte Lippies in Peach Don't Kill My Vibe. I'm going to use the lip liner and the, the lipstick. I'm actually feeling like it's a bit too bright so I'm going to tone it down. I'm going to add a bit of fetish on top. Yeah, that's toned down a lot better. Okay, so that is the makeup done. And I'm now gonna go on to show you how I curl my short hair with a pair of straighteners. So I'm gonna be using a pair of GHDs, whatever straightener you have at home will be fine. So what I do is I literally take the top sections of my hair Kind of start from the back and then come forward. I'll start with kind of this piece here. And depending on which side you're working on, so this is my left side, I will bring the straightener around the back. I take the bit of hair and I put the straightener in at this angle, near the top, and then I will just slowly drag it in a circular motion backwards. I want the hair to be kind of curling that way around, like away from my face, rather than bringing the curl forward. I'm taking another strand of hair, I will show you again. So grab the hair kind of midway down and curl back. And you're left with a nice loose kind of curl. And just follow the same technique. And while I only really curl the top layers of my hair, I will curl just this section here, because this is the section that you'll be able to see when the hair is kind of down. You don't want that to be straight and then this to be curly. So the right side of my hair is slightly easier to curl because I am right-handed. Take the strand of hair, clasp the hair kind of midway down, and then using the same technique, you roll the hair back. So again, I'm always curling back. And it is literally as easy as that. What I always do after colouring my hair is just spray a bit of Batiste and you just want to spray a bit of this into the roots just to kind of zhuzh it up and give yourself a little bit more volume at the roots. Okay, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye!